Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Larson card to review today. Uh, not a lot of people are going to be interested in this card, but my Danish friends, ooh, Danish friends, are going to definitely be uh, interested in these bad boys. So with Larson, we're taking a look at someone who's six foot tall, medium, medium work rates, right footed, three star skill moves, four star weak foot. I don't know why EA doesn't just, you know, give him the, uh, the skill moves to a four star. I think that would definitely be something that would be Great to work with, but unfortunately not with this card. Uh, the the three-star skill moves, dribbling stats the way that it is. The dribbling's not actually that bad from what it looks like, but here's the problem with this Larson card, right? Uh, he is a six-foot-tall player with a average an average body type, right? So the average body type... Uh, it's not gonna, it might not be the best for the left stick dribbling, right? That, that's the thing. We're gonna give him a marksman, obviously, to try to boost the reactions, ball control, and dribbling as much as possible to make him as responsive as possible because we also wanna give him the finishing boost because of the shot power being as it is, right? But this, this card still looks pretty solid for what it is, right? So 95 acceleration, 95 sprint speed is good to work with for any of the attacking positions. We're gonna see what his attacking AI is like um, to see if he plays most of the positions well. Shooting stats, he's at 99 attacking positioning with the medium, medium work rates, which to to be fair is actually pretty good hopefully it actually helps it out a lot uh 90 for finishing with the marks we're going to be boosting that to a 99 with 99 shot power 99 long shots uh with 81 composure so the composure being low is definitely unfortunate too because that with the average body type six foot height and then lack of skill moves that's going to be a combination of different things that it could affect the card in regards to left stick dribbling and just skill moves entirely. Uh, base card stats for passing, good for an attacker, so you can use him anywhere, obviously. 99 stamina to push forward or come back, definitely nice there too. Dribbling, we will be taking a look at in-game with the 81 composure. He actually has defensive stats, right? So a card like this with defensive stats, in my opinion, would definitely suit that role of playing a right mid in your team, right? So if you play in the right mid position and he has a few defensive stats and you actually tell him, you know, to get inside the box, especially with 93 volleys and good finishing stats with the marksman, uh, this card could actually be really, really good to use in that area, right? Uh, so defensive stats, like I said, set up really nicely for this card as an attacking player playing in that 3-5-2 or something. Uh, defensive, uh, excuse me, physical stats, uh, also pretty good for base card stats because 80 86, 86, 99 for stamina, all of that good stuff. So with Larson, guys, we're going to be trying him out in different ways. Uh, we're going to be trying him out in the right mid position uh, for a little bit. And then we're also going to be trying him up top in the striker position because I was rotating between Anzu Fati and Larson uh, for the striker area for the sake of the review, right? So uh, when we use him at striker, it's going to be the stay forward instruction. When we use him in the right mid position, it'll be stay wide and get into the box. So um, yeah, we'll see how he performs in game. Hopefully he's decent, man. Oh, I love that. Love that. Got to work that um got to work that shot cancel angle right there, eh? GG's Larson, my boy. Oh, I almost got it there with him. Almost. Oh, I tried to go for that near post angle right there. No. Oh, Delaney. My boy. Oh, good first time strike. Love that. Love that. Good stuff. Yeah, we'll get the deflection. That was a great run, though, man. He did a really good run right there. That was awesome. And we get a rage quit out of it, too. Sick. To be fair, guys, his attacking AI is actually kind of solid. Like, for what it is, ball roll touch upwards. A little bit of pressure here, so we have to kind of, like, just do regular dribbles to open up the space a little bit. Near post from there? Ooh! You actually scored from the near post there, my boy? 
Okay, okay. We get it, bro. You're saucy. The double ball roll is just like a really good way to kind of like put your body ahead of the ball. So it kind of gives you like a good attacking uh, opportunity. Power strike. Let's go. Uh, making it work, making it work. You gotta have to time the left stick a little bit, you know? You gotta do a little shkanif shkanif up and down. <laughs> Oh, I try to get like a, I could have gone for like a ball roll strike because that's like a FIFA mechanic, but you could, you could tell, right? When I do that small little touch, the shot isn't as consistent anymore, you know? Nice weak foot strike again. Good stuff. Good stuff. How can you not be entertained by Mohamed Salah, a magician with the ball at his feet? Lee, in what way will he contribute here? Well, I kind of think he's pretty unique. And the goalkeeper... Penalty? Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it there. I went for the shot cancel. That's why I thought he was going to trigger a nice little penal for me. With them, referee says play on. Pressing as a team. Pretty tidy looking attack. Continued by Ericsson. Oh, listen, I could have just gone for the finish right there, but I had to go for the strike with him. I had to. Penalty? Nice. I actually did a roulette right there. Like I said, the roulette scum was actually uh, kind of nice. He doesn't do that special roulette, though, man, where the, it kind of like pushes a ball a certain way. He does like a very... This is like one of the first few cards I've used that does the roulette normally. It's really weird. He doesn't do like that new way. Um, what is your... Where? Oh, it's this one. 83. Bang. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Told you. Oh, the defender in the net. EA, take that out of the game. I hate it. God, if you push your goalkeeper like an idiot, GG's for you, bro. Oh, God, I hate that EA does this. I hate them, bro. Larson with the long shot. Oh. Oh, okay, I timed the left stick there. That one I timed the left stick. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice. Got that, got that. See, 45 degree angle, heel to heel, get a nice little response from the goalkeeper there. Nice shot cancel. Timed that one really well there. Like I said, man, his attacking AI is not bad, you know? But this card, for me personally, guys, because of the way that he dribbles and because of his capabilities with his weak foot and skill moves, uh, it is a card that you specifically want to use at right mid the most, I would say. Oh, he finishes again. He finishes. He's doing the thing. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Larson card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, uh, 
his medium medium work rate is actually not that big of an issue, right? It's not. His attacking AI is actually pretty solid. He moves into spaces really well. Um, I think that this card, again, is a card that you use mostly in the right mid position to push forward, come back. It's a little bit strange with him because of the medium medium work rate. It is nice to have one thing over the other, right? When it comes to attacking players. So if I'm using a 3-5-2, it is nice to at least have a high medium because defensive capabilities will be very similar with the fact that he is a medium at that, right? But medium, medium with the defensive stats that he has, it'll definitely still be pretty cool to use in that right mid position because he is right footed. Uh, the lack of skill moves, the way that the dribbling is set up with the six foot height, average body type, you do notice that in game. His left stick dribbling is very strange and he has kind of like this uh, sway when it comes to dribbling left and right with him. Uh, again, because of all of those things taken into consideration. Um, the card is, uh, it's one of those fodder cards for sure. It's one of those cards that you get if you are getting for sentimental value, but it is a card that you can use in the meta of the gameplay. It's just the dribbling that's a little bit weird for him, in my opinion, uh, because of all of those things in combination. And then the medium, medium work rate in the right mid position is a little bit weird too, but through the middle, actually not that bad. So considering what my, what my boy uh Giyu has in this team with all the danish players right getting links here left right and center with ericsson larsen if you're a danish yourself there's actually a lot of very cool options that you have in my opinion right instead of the larsen card ea should have done a hoybeard card uh i think that that would have definitely been uh, super ideal because his card has a lot of potential for like the Danish links, right? Like obviously uh, with him, he's got the four star weak foot, the medium high work rates. I think at some point in this uh, in this year, they're going to give him a card, but it just would have been cool if that was like the triple link setup that you have um, with these players because it just would have been really, really sick if they gave him a card. That and my boy Giyu really wanted him too, but yeah, his, his title is Rib Hoibjerg because it would have been a really, really cool card because he has all the right base characteristics Maybe not necessarily in the pace department, but they maybe would have given him like a, I don't know, their upgrades are really weird with how they upgrade everything. So it'd have to be like an 82 at least for acceleration and like a 87 for sprint speed, I guess, something like that, you know, depending on how they actually upgrade it. Because look, man, it's just, it's really just the pace for this card, right? Dribbling, that would be upgraded as well while the card is upgraded itself, um, but it's really just... It's a missed opportunity. Maybe they give a card for him in the future. Who knows, man? Because the Danish team, they're doing the thing this year, man. They're doing the thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.